Jess from Nonstop Kids and it's another story time. Woohoo! And today's story is about a queen, a very regal queen, but not just any queen, a snow queen. Now I know it's nearly summer, but we can still imagine it's cold and wintry, can't we? Everybody go very cold for the snow queen story. So Sit back, relax, and let's read the story of the Snow Queen. Once upon a time, there lived a wicked troll king who built a magical mirror. The mirror made anything that was beautiful or good look ugly and bad in its reflection. The troll king was very mean indeed. He travelled around the world and used his mirror to make people see the worst in everything and everyone. Oh, let me show you this horrible troll. Look at him. Oh, he looks nasty and horrible. And look, the girls in the mirror have turned into trolls, even though they are very beautiful girls in real life. What a horrible idea. One day, the troll decided to make fun of the angels by showing them their reflection in this magical mirror. But as he tried to carry the mirror towards the heavens, he dropped it and the mirror shattered into millions of tiny pieces. A strong wind picked up the magical mirror and all the pieces and blew them all over the earth. Tiny fragments of mirror were blown into people's eyes, making them see the world as a foul and rotten place. And when a mirror fragment touched someone's heart, it froze them hard like ice, so they never felt joy again. Oh my goodness, let's all freeze like a statue after three. Ready, one, two, three. <gasps> Imagine one of those mirror fragments that touched you and now you're frozen. Oh, I'm relaxed. Very good. Oh, look, there's the mirror. It's been shattered into all those pieces. <gasps> years, years and years later, pieces of the mirror fell into a small town where two best friends, Kai and Gerda, lived happily. As the friends read a book together, a splinter of the broken mirror flew into Kai's eye and another pierced his heart. In an instant, everything changed. Kai destroyed the roses he and Gerda had planted together and he argued and taunted her over the smallest things. Soon, the friends rarely played together anymore. So the pieces of the mirror have turned Kai into a mean and nasty little boy. But he wasn't like that before. The next winter, Kai was playing alone in the snow when a giant carriage drew up beside him. The mysterious driver called Kai over and he found himself staring into the piercing blue eyes of the Snow Queen. Kai was spellbound, and when the Snow Queen invited him in to ride with her, he was powerless to resist. Let me show you the Snow Queen. There she is in her carriage, and Kai is absolutely gobsmacked. I wonder where they're going to go. Kai was fearful and numb with cold. Seeing that he was afraid, the Snow Queen kissed him on the forehead. Oh, she seems quite nice. Immediately, the cold and all his memories disappeared and the Snow Queen drove her carriage on and on towards her ice palace home. Oh, she's got an ice palace. When Kai did not return home, the people of the town thought he must have drowned in the river. But his loyal friend Gerda felt sure that he was still alive. First, Gerda took her boat to the river and offered her new shoes as a gift if the river returned her friend. But the river did not have Kai, so Gerda continued with her search. There she is. She's looking for her friend, but as we all know, he's not in the river. He's with the Snow Queen. Next, Gerda's search took her to an enchanted garden of eternal summer. The fairy who owned the garden was very lonely, so she cast a magical spell to make Gerda forget everything and stay. As the spell took hold, all the roses in the garden sank below the ground so that Gerda would not be reminded of home and Kai. Hmm. As time passed, 
Gerda could not understand why she felt so sad in such a beautiful place. Then one day, as she wept, one of her tears touched the ground and a rose bush sprang up. The flowers whispered to Gerda that Kai was not dead. And with that, the fairy spell was broken. Woohoo! Well, let me show you the fairy. There she is. She put a, she got a spell on Gerda, so she forgot all about her friend. But as soon as her tears touched the flower, she remembered. Gerda escaped from the enchanted garden. And after walking for many, many miles, she met a raven. By now, Gerda was very hungry. So she was grateful when the kind raven gave her some bread. As Gerda ate, she told the raven all about the search for her friend. The raven listened very, very carefully. Then he told Gerda about a princess and her quest to find a husband who was both clever and funny. It's very rare. The princess had found her perfect prince and the raven believed that the prince might be Kai. Gerda was excited by the raven's news and went in search for the princess's palace. But when she arrived, she discovered that the prince the raven spoke about was not her dear friend at all. The prince and the princess felt very sorry for Gerda. So they gave her some warm clothes and a fine carriage so that she continued her search. Look, that's not Kai at all. That's a prince. Kai doesn't look like that, does he? Not long after, Gerda left the palace. Robis, robbers spied her fancy carriage and attacked it. Luckily, a little robber girl took pity on Gerda, so the other robbers did not harm her and took her back to their hideout. Oh my goodness, she's going on a massive journey, isn't she? There, the little robber girl kept wood pigeons and a reindeer tied up as pets. One night, while the little robber girl slept, the raven came to visit Gerda and spoke to the wood pigeons. Cooing quietly, they told the raven that the Snow Queen had taken Kai to Lapland. <gasps> In the morning, Gerda told the little robber girl what the wood pigeons had said. The little robber girl could see that Gerda was really upset, so she agreed to set her free and let her take her reindeer to ride on. So she was allowed to go and find her friend after all. That magical raven, eh? It was a long journey to the Snow Queen's palace and Gerda made two stops. The first was at a lap woman's house. The lap woman told Gerda that the Snow Queen had moved from her summer palace in Lapland to her winter palace in Finnmark. So there's the woman, the lap woman, around a roaring fire. The second stop was at a Finn woman's house. The Finn woman told the reindeer that the secret of Gerda's special power to save Kai from the Snow Queen was in her innocent child's heart. Ooh, and there's the reindeer. So the secret's within us, within her heart. When Gerda reached the Snow Queen's palace, she was stopped by icy snowflakes that were guarding it. But when she said a prayer, her breath took the shape of angels who battled with snowflakes so that she could enter the palace safely. Once inside, Gerda found Kai all alone on a frozen lake. Kai was completely still as he sat trying to solve a puzzle that the Snow Queen had set him. If Kai was able to form the word eternity from splintered pieces of ice, the Snow Queen had promised to release him from her power. So there he is, he's trying to think of how he's going to get out with her special puzzle the Snow Queen has set him. Gerda was thrilled to see her friend was still alive. She ran up to Kai and kissed him, crying of tears of happiness. As Gerda's warm tears fell onto Kai, they melted his heart and burnt away the magic mirror splinter inside. In an instant, everything changed. Able to feel once more, Kai began to cry too, and his tears dislodged the splinter from his eye. Kai was back to normal. He was a healthy and a happy boy once again. So there are the tears. So the secret was Gerda's tears. 
to unlock his frozen heart and to get the splinter out of his eye. He cried. Kai and Gerda danced joyfully on the frozen lake and splinters of ice joined them spinning and swirling and twirling around. When the reunited friends tired of dancing, the ice splinters fell down to spell eternity. The Snow Queen's spell was broken and Kai was free to return home with his very best friend, Gerda. There they are, dancing around. So dancing made the snow splinters spell eternity and instantly broke the curse. Everybody say hooray! Wow, I love that story, although it has made me feel a little bit chilly. Everybody show me their cold statues. <gasps> but now we are released from the Snow Queen's curse and everybody melts. <laughs> We're free! Hooray! Oh, well, fantastic. I love that story and thank you for joining me. I had a lovely time. Well, join me back here next Saturday for another story time. But stay tuned to Nonstop Kids TV because there's lots more to see and do. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone! Music